Hi everyone, welcome back and in this lesson we're going to be going over variables and numbers. So to start off with we're going to define a couple of variables here. Uh, we're going to use the program from last time, the scanner one, because we're still going to use for, ask for the user input. Uh, so to begin with we're going to get rid of this and change it to an int. So this means an integer which is a whole number and we're going to call that number one. And just end it with a semicolon. And we're going to create a second one, int number two, Ooh, no space. And then finally, we're going to have an int answer. OK, now we're going to need to ask the user to enter some numbers. So we're going to change this message up here to please enter a number. Now that this we've, we've deleted the username line, so we're going to have to change this to number one. And now we're not asking for a text, we're asking for a number. So we're going to change this method to say next int. Okay, so all that's saying is the scanner is going to pick up the next integer that the person enters into the console. Now that we've got the first one, we're going to have to ask them for a second number. So if we just copy this and enter it here, and now ask for the second number, so number two equals scanner dot next int. And then we're just going to close the scanner like before. And now we're going to do some math where we're going to take these two numbers and add them together. So to do this, we're going to write down answer equals number one plus number two. I mean, all that's going to do is add number one to number two and put it into the answer variable. And just to show that it works, we're going to output it to the screen. Okay, and that should be all we need. Uh, so let's run it and see if it works. So first number, we're going to add two. Add another number, two. Should be four, and we can see four. Uh, so that's how you add numbers together to subtract numbers. Just replace the add with a minus sign. Let's see it again. Add number five. Take away three, should give us two. And it gave us two. Um, you can multiply. To multiply, use the asterisk symbol. So let's run that. Two times three equals six, yeah. And to divide, just use the forward slash. So six divided by two equals three. Now, because we've defined these as integers, the numbers are always gonna be whole. But if say we want to divide seven by two, we want an answer of 3.5. So we're gonna to have to change these integers to doubles. And all a double means is a number with a decimal place. And now we need to change this because it's trying to read an integer. And so we change it to next double. We'll get rid of those. And now let's try this again. So if I enter number seven, divide it by two, it's given us 3.5. Okay, uh, so this actually should have been next double, but we entered an integer in there, so it didn't complain. All right. Uh, and so next we're just going to go over bod mass. I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but what this is just tells you the order in which the math is done. Uh, these operators are, that are done. So bod mass stands for, and uh, while I'm showing you this, I'm going to show you how to write comments. So if you do two forward slashes, that means a comment. So when you run this program, this line is going to be ignored. So let's just type out stuff here. So that's one type of comment. Another type. Instead, you can do one forward slash and asterisk, and then another forward slash, and this comments out multiple lines. So anything with an asterisk in front of it is going to be ignored. So bod mass stands for brackets, powers, oh, that's a bit weird on that one, uh, multiplication, or multiply, division, addition, and subtraction. 
Um, and all this is saying that if you have a, a equation, it's going to first do anything inside of brackets, then do any powers, then do multiply, then division, then addition, then subtraction. So let's show that now. Uh, so here's our first equation. Um, so now I'm going to add a number just to the end of it. And the way this should work is it'll divide number one by number two first, then add five, not number one divided by number two plus five. Uh, so let's give this a go. So let's do seven divided by two, and you see it's 8.5. So it's done seven divided by two, 3.5, then added five. Uh, if we were to change it to put brackets around this, then it's going to work out number two plus five first, then divide number one by our result. So let's just try that. So seven divided by two equals one because it's done seven divided by seven. And if you want to find out how to do powers, you can look up one of our later tutorials, uh, the math util tutorial. Uh, so stay tuned for our next tutorial where we're going to go over uh, some special operators, special math operators. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe.